together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my living room. Today, as you can see, we have somebody joining us. This dog back here is Chloe. She didn't want to go outside while I was making our circle time, so I'm going to see if she can stay on the couch while we do our activities. We'll start with our calendar. What is the name of the month we are in? April. April is our month. Let's see. Oh, okay. I forgot to write in yesterday's date. Yesterday was April 7th. What would come after April 7th? <coughs> April 8th. After 7 comes 8. Today is April 8th. Yesterday was Tuesday. What day comes after Tuesday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and our year is 2020. I'm gonna say it all together and then you can repeat after me. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Your turn. Okay, our season. Let's say our season's poem. We have winter, where it's very cold. Spring, where things start to bloom. Summer, where it's very hot. And fall, when the leaves fall off the tree. What season are we in right now? Spring, our season is spring. I left our weather tag on from last time because today the weather is the same. Let's go check, sing our weather song while we look out our windows. What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? Is it sunny, is it cloudy, is it rainy out today? And actually I'm glad I looked because the weather has changed a little bit since I first got ready this morning. Now, I still see a little bit of sun, but the sun is covered by, what do you think it's covered by? Clouds. It's cloudy and sunny. Interesting. All right. So last time that we read a book about a mouse, I really had a good time. So I thought we could read another book about a mouse. And I even brought a special friend with me. Does this mouse look familiar? I'm gonna see if I can bounce this mouse on my shoulder while I read a story about him. This book about a mouse is called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. I bet you've heard this story before. If you give a mouse a cookie, oh, well, I guess I can't bounce it on my shoulder. Sorry, mouse. How about you just sit on my lap? You can sit on my lap and listen to the story. Okay, what will happen if we give a mouse a cookie? Oh, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of scissors. Okay. 
When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away. He might sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Look how tired that mouse looks. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read him one from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Then he'll draw a picture. Does anyone know what he's drawing a picture of? If you've heard this story, you might remember. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. What did he draw? That's his family. He drew his mouse family in front of a mouse house. With a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need Scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that. What might the refrigerator remind him? Oh, he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, can you guess what he might want to go with it? He's going to want a cookie to go with it. Ooh, that mouse sure tired that boy out. There are different types of stories. Some stories are true stories and other stories are make-believe stories. Do you think that story about a mouse asking a person for cookies and milk and different things. Do you think that was a true story or a make-believe story? It's make-believe. Another name for that is fiction. That story was fiction. But it is fun to use your imagination to pretend like mice can talk to us. Right, little mouse? All right, so this book has a bunch of special activities and songs in it to go along with that story. And there's a song called The Mouse Cookie, but I don't know how to play it on an instrument, so I invited a special guest who does. Oh, special guest! <laughs> Here he is. Welcome, Billy. Thank you. How are you this morning? I'm well, how are you? I am well too, I'm gonna put that there. So see, Billy's gonna, Look at this page that shows all of the music notes and all of the lyrics. The lyrics are the words to the songs, and he is going to be the musician. This song, called The Mouse Cookie, was written by Sarah Weeks. When you write a song, you're a composer. So Sarah Weeks is the composer of this song. So here's what we're going to do. Billy's going to play it and sing it, and I'm going to do the dance moves. Then he's gonna stop and I'll teach you the moves and then you can do it with us the second time. <laughs> okay, you can sit next to Billy. Okay, ready Billy? Thank you. 
show you the moves. So when Billy plays it again, you can dance with us. All right, so the first part says, can you feel the beat? So for that part, you kind of shake your hips and move your arms up, feeling the beat. Can you tap your feet? Put your hands on your hips and tap your feet, point them out. Can you, can you clap, clap? easy. What's the next part, Billy? Can you knee slap? Can you knee slap? So I take my knees up to my hands. Can you wiggle your nose? Kind of hard. While you dance on your toes? Up on your toes. That looks kind of like a mouse. Yeah, just do, like a mouse. Do the mouse cookie. Okay, for when it says the mouse cookie, we roll our hands. Step side to side. So then it says... Looky, looky. We're looky, looky. We're doing the mouse cookie. Mouse cookie again. Looky, looky. What do you think? We're doing the mouse cookie. We know what to do now. All right, and then it just repeats that, right? And then yep. that's it. Okay, stand on up and dance along with us. had to do with that story we read, if you give a mouse a cookie. So in that book, Mouse drew a picture of his family in front of his house. And I know right now, you guys are probably spending a lot of time with your family. So I found this big old clipboard in my basement, and I'm going to draw a picture of my family. Oh, I'll use this. How perfect. So you met my family. Billy, who was playing the guitar, that's my husband. And Clove, who is sitting on the couch, that's my dog. That's my family that I live with. So that's who I'm going to draw. All right. I only have one marker with me right now, so my picture might not be my most beautiful, colorful work. But at your house, if you have other markers or crayons, you can really take your time to draw your best family picture. So, to draw a person, get a circle for the head. A line for the body. Two short lines for the legs. Two short lines for the arms. What's my person look like? A face. And this is going to be Billy, so he needs some curly hair. Okay, there's Billy. Now I'm going to do a shorter version of the person for me, because I'm shorter than Billy. My head. There's 
me and Billy. Now I need to draw a dog. Do a circle head. That's a really easy way to draw people and animals. You might draw even more details. You might add color. You might not need to do stick figures. Maybe you can draw people with more lines. Oh, I should add my house, huh? There's my house. What do you think? I hope that you draw a picture of your family at your house. And I'm gonna do just exactly what the mouse did. I'm gonna put this on my refrigerator so my whole family can see it. All right, I'm glad we have this music stand. Now, we've been practicing our letters in sign language. Remember, sign language is when we just use our hands, and maybe our face sometimes. Let's review the letters we've learned so far. This letter makes the sound ah. Ah. This letter makes the sound b. B. Today we're going to learn a new letter. You know what sound this letter makes? This is k. k. To make a k in sign language. Look, they kind of look similar. I'm going to trace my k. k. Can you trace k in the air? K. Can you trace k on the floor? K. This letter makes the sound k. Let's learn our poem about k. I'll do it first. I had a k, a bouncing letter it was a cat, cute as can be. He ran past a cookie. He ran past a cake. He ran past a clown down by the lake. So, you know how to make a k. The other sign language words that you need to know are cat. Do you have your whiskers, cats? Cookie your hand out and you take your hand and pretend like you're using a cookie cutter to make a circle. Cookie. Cake. You flip your hand over. Cake. Cake. And clown. You know how sometimes clowns have those big red noses? Clown. Let's do them again. Cat. Cookie, cake, clown. Let's do it one line at a time. I had a k, a bouncing letter k. It was a cat, cute as can be. He ran past a cookie. He ran past a cake. He ran past a clown down by the lake. All right, we'll do it one more time. I had a k, a bouncing letter k. It was a cat, cute as can be. It ran past a cookie. It ran past a cake. It ran past a clown down by the lake. So in that poem, the words that start with k Cat, cake, oops, sorry, cookie, <laughs> cake, and clown. Also cute. They all have the same sound k at the beginning of the word. All right, let's see if we can remember our three sign language letters we know. We have a, b. learning so much. Okay, that's all that I have to 
do today. Let's stand up and say our goodbye poem. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, garter snake. Hit the road, happy toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Bye-bye, butterfly. Give a hug, ladybug. To the loo, kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Adios, hippo. Hasta mañana, iguana. Give a kiss, goldfish. Get in line, porcupine. Out the door, dinosaur. On the bus, octopus. To your house, quiet mouse. Our group time now ends. So goodbye, my dear friends. I hope you had fun singing and dancing, and I hope that you will draw your own family picture. I'm gonna go put this on the fridge. Bye.